Hi, welcome to Hoopty Doo, and welcome to the first video in a series of twin turns. Um, these videos were requested by Shelly, and uh, a few other people I think are interested in them. So um, we're going to start with um, the forward spinning, and I will show you two different um, turns on this video. And one is just the regular basic easy to do um, and the other one is a little bit more difficult but it'll give you something to practice on. And then I will continue with uh, the next videos will be on um, uh, turns with um, the twin hoops moving in opposite directions and how to go in reverse with the turns and turn back and forth. Um, so we will just do a whole series on turns, okay? So I hope you enjoy it, and um, let's get started. So the first one is both hoops are spinning forward. And it's just a regular basic turn that you generally start with when you're doing turns, okay? And it looks like this. Okay. You can turn that way. Now, when you, after you turn, the hoops are going in the opposite direction. Okay? And then you can turn back. And it's the same basic turn, just back to the forward from reverse. So you can go in either direction. Okay? You can go back from where you came from. Okay? Or you can go to the reverse and then keep going on around. Or you can go back and forth. So the first one, the way you do it is you're going to want to practice with one hoop at a time. And once you get the movement down, then uh, put them together. Okay, so basically you're going forward in a forward spin. And you do have to know how to do a forward spin in order to do this move. So this is a forward spin. If you want a tutorial on that, I can make one too. So uh, send your requests, whatever you want me to do, and I'll do it. So uh, you're going a forward spin, and it's at your right side, in your right hand. And what you want to do is, when you come back, when the hoop comes swinging back and you feel it, you're going to gra grab the hoop for now, and the hand position is always very important. Um, uh, if you haven't yet watched my tutorial on hand positions, you need to do that because hand positions are the secret to the universe of hooping. Um, so when you, when you stop the hoop, but you're not actually going to stop it, but just for slow motion purposes, we're going to stop it. And your hand is inside the hoop with your palm pointed up to the ceiling and your thumb is pointed back like in a hitchhiker grip, okay? And those are, the names of the grips are on my other hand position tutorial. Okay, so um, then when you come back that way, okay, and you're spinning the hoop, it's going around, okay? And then you're going, it's, it's going around, spinning, 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 and you're going to stop it. And when you do that, your hand will be inside, like I showed you, and what you're going to do is, you're going to turn your body so that you're facing in the other direction. As, as soon as you start to grab the hoop, so you're pointed this way, forward, you're looking forward, the hoop is going forward, and the minute you start to grab the hoop, then you want to turn your body with it. Because if you turn your body with it, it comes over to the other side of your body, okay? And then your hand position, your hand thumb is sort of pointed up, okay? And you want to then, your hand is on the outside of the hoop, okay? So in order to spin, your hand needs to be inside the hoop. So what you want to do is, you're going to take that hand right here, and you're going to bring it inside the hoop and keep it spinning. And you will find that when you get back to and you finish the turn, the hoop is going in the opposite direction. It's going backwards instead of forward. Okay? So you're, you're taking your hand 
and from the outside of the hoop, and the hoop is still spinning, and and for a minute, when you when you let go with your fingers, it's sort of going to roll across your thumb, and then you're going to catch it again. So it's going from outside to inside, outside, inside, and it keeps keeps spinning. So let me move back a bit. So you're starting forward, 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 spinning, 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 and you're facing this way forward and bring it up and you've turned your body, your body movement with the hoop. You're going to go with the hoop and that's what the turn is. It comes up and it's going to go over back over to your right side where you started and that's where you're going to start doing rolling it across your thumb and it'll go in the opposite direction when your, hoop, when your hand goes inside the hoop. Okay? And the same with the hoop in the left hand. Okay, we'll do it from this side so you can see it better. Okay? And you're going forward with the left, left hoop, left hand. Left hand is, if it's your non-dominant hand, it's always going to be harder, so you have to practice it more. Okay, so, and you're going to turn it the same way. Only though, if you're not with the right hoop, Remember, when you look at it, you're turning towards the hoop, okay, not away from the hoop. You're turning, oops, <laughs> forward direction, and you're looking this way, forward also, and you're turning toward the hoop, and then bringing it back to the right side, okay. With the left hoop, what it's going to do is, it, and it's the same hand position and same hand position change, as the right hoop, exactly the same hand position change. Okay, so, but it's going to do a little bit different thing because it's on your left side now and it's going forward and you're standing here pointing forward and this hoop is going to go, when you're going to grab it, you're going to grab it when it's still on this side and it's going to come down on your right side. It almost follows the other hoop, okay? sort of follows the other hoop, it does its hand change position and and then it starts spinning just like the right hoop in the opposite direction. Okay? So let's I will try to do that really slow so that you can see it with both hoops. So we're spinning, spinning forward direction, we're pointed to the front, and here we go. We're going to turn towards the right hoop. Or the red hoop, if you're keeping track of the colors, okay? Okay, so here we go. And we're going to bring this one in the left hand is coming around as we turn. And that's when you do the roll over your hand, just like I showed you with the right hoop. It's exactly the same with the left hand. Same roll that you're going to do. You're going to forward, 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 turn, and roll and you're going backwards, okay? So forward spin, forward spin, forward spin. When you're ready, you grab it, bring it up, and you're turning towards the right one, and then you bring it, and it just stays on the left side there when you turn it, when you change the hand position. Okay, forward, 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 change, and you're going to roll it across your hand. And you're in this position then. Okay? So practice each, each one separately until you can do it flawlessly, really comfortable with it, each hoop. And a good exercise to do to practice, because this hand change is going to be used in all of the hoop turns, every one of them. Okay? you will have hand position changes that you have to do. So it's good to be comfortable with them. A good exercise to do is to stand facing your hoop and having it forward direction that way to your left. It's going to your left. And just take and practice bringing it to your back and turning so it's to your side. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Opposite direction. Forward direction to your left. 
and you bring it behind you and in front of you and behind you and do it do it with both both hands okay so you've got this one over here forward direction and we're going to make it come to the front and you notice the the hand roll the hand roll okay here it comes to the front and when you've got your hand on the outside of the hoop then you're going to do the roll and keep spinning it okay you can also do the turns coming off weaves and I think, personally, that the hand position change stuff is easier coming off of a weave or incorporating the turns into the weaves. And we'll do that um, on the next video uh, with a split weave, uh, doing turns with that. Um, okay, so this is the first turn. This is your basic turn, forward uh, motion, okay, and that's the way it works. Okay? Now, when you are in the reverse direction and you want to go back to the forward direction, then, then you just go back. It is the same exact method as you would this. I just taught you how to go from forward to reverse. Okay? Going from reverse, let's go in the left hand so you can see it better. The hoop is going that way behind me, okay, which I call reverse direction. And so I'm spinning, 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 spinning. And I want to turn, and I'm going to turn into the hoop. You can turn either way. You can turn into the hoop or the other direction. We're going to turn into the hoop, okay? And so spinning, spinning, spinning. And here we go. And we caught the hoop. Hand is on the outside. Okay, and it's just going to come back to the other side, and it'll wind up on your left side, and you're going to do your hand roll and keep, keep going. It's exactly the same thing as we just did with the for, starting with the forward weave instead of the reverse weave, because now you notice you wind up in the forward position, which sets you up to do the move that you just moved that you just learned with the forward position. Okay, so you've got the forward position, and let's do a turn into the right one. Okay. And you go in reverse. Okay, now watch the hoop in the left hand, this hand. Okay, and we're going to turn into that hoop, to that direction, so my body's going to be facing that hoop. So here it goes. Do you see the left hoop? Okay, and now it's going forward. Okay, so it comes turning into the hoop and it comes up and as, as it's on its way down, then you get your thumb inside that hoop. Okay, here's the hand position. Your hand is on the outside and your thumb position needs to start coming inside that hoop. Thumb goes in <clears throat> and then the hoop. I'll move it with my hand so you can see. But the hoop then, your hand goes like that. And you are then moving it in the forward direction. Same thing with, with the right hoop. If you are going in the reverse direction, my hoops are now going in the reverse direction. They're behind me. Okay. And if you want to do both hoops, we're going to turn, I'm going to turn into the right hoop right here, this one. So here we go. We're going to turn into it. And you notice that the hoops sort of follow each other. See, they just sort of follow. They go up. There you go. That's your hoops going forward direction. Here we go. They're going to follow each other. They're going to go up together. You don't have to lift them that high, okay? You can keep them down here, but this is exaggerated for your purposes. And, and when they get up there, it's your thumbs go around, and they back. Back to the reverse direction. And you just keep practicing that. Practicing that change, that hand position change. That is key to doing the turns, okay? From one direction, whenever you change direction, of the hoop spinning, then you have to change your hand position. 
or it's either that or break your wrist, I think. I don't know. Okay, so that is the first basic turn in um, spinning. Now that's not with the weaves.